Hi, I'm Chip Rowan with the Armstrong Neighborhood Channel, and you're watching In the Know. For this episode, we are at the Conswell Township Volunteer Fire Department, and joining me is Joe Kaczynski. Hello, Joe. How are you, Chip? Good to see you again. I'm great. I don't know what's going on, but this seems to roll around pretty quick. Yeah, this yearly event gets here a lot quicker than some of us would like, but uh, it happens every year, and we're, we're just glad to have it here. Yes. So Joe is with the Fun Fest Committee here at the Fire Department, and they have a big event every year, helps fund the Fire Department, and mm -hmm. provides some fun for the community, too. So you want to talk about uh, this year's event dates and all that good stuff? Sure. Uh, this year, the event will be, uh, as we always do, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, uh, and we try to go to the first um, full weekend of uh, June. So it'll be 6th, 7th, and 8th of June. And uh, it'll be here on the grounds of the fire department. Uh, taking it back just however many years it's been now, it's too many to remember. Uh, we actually began over on the property with Geibel High School. Okay. Uh, it was a, a co-project between the fire department and the football booster team, uh, organization that was over there. And uh, we did it over there for several years. Uh, then when you know some things changed with the football uh, booster group, we, we brought the event here and we've been hosting it here on our property ever since. Was it always called Fun Fest? Yes. Okay. So yeah. That's, from that's, day that's one, it's been Fun Fest. Yeah. And and from day one, we've had the uh, the mascot of of the alligator. Yeah. Uh, obviously. I, with know, I know where that came from. Gator. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, this is a great location here, though. You have a you know nice campus here that you can host that yeah. and uh, works out well. Yeah. We have uh, plenty of place, pl plenty of property here to do this on. Yeah. Um, we've expanded a little bit of property in the last couple of years so okay. we've picked up some extra space for parking right. um, our neighbors are, are great to work with around us here they they're very happy to have us up here and yeah. uh, and, and we you know work with them for the, for additional parking so there's plenty of places to come up to to park come up and, and come on the property uh, play some of the games have some food mm -hmm. enjoy the entertainment and it's just it's just a nice family community opportunity for people to come out and get together yes it is and I, I always enjoy you said food that's one of the big draws and you have a great setup for the food too the yeah. way you use the fire hall yeah and the table sets so almost like a cafeteria basically yeah we we empty out the truck room uh, put all the apparatus out around back and uh, we have that then cleaned up and ready to go where you come in place your order and then you go and uh, have plenty of places to sit down and eat you don't have to worry about trying to carry your food around and, and balance do a balancing act uh, one thing that we are trying to pr improve on this year is the ordering system okay uh, it's going computerized okay. so you'll place your order uh, computerized uh, they'll spit it out in the back they'll cook it up and, and get it you'll call you back out to get your food and it, it should speed up a few things for everybody and make it a little bit easier yeah we have a big menu too a lot, a lot of options yeah there. yeah there's always something uh, on there that somebody's gonna like yeah. um, you know there's the deep fried Oreos there's yeah. you know <laughs> funnel cakes there's there's always something somebody can find to have as their dinner yeah when I see a lot of people coming here for their dinner too you know you yeah. see people coming in on Thursday and Friday after work and, mm -hmm. and they're planning on stopping here and getting something good to eat right might as well come on up and uh, and have your dinner here and then you know take take a walk through with the booths that we'll have set up and uh, you know the kids will love to play some games and uh, there'll be some adult games as well yeah that's great let's talk about Thursday night so uh, how do things start off on the first first the night? first night is of course our Armstrong night and we're glad and to we're, be here and we appreciate your support uh, for that night um, and it's our opening night. We start at six o'clock and we'll run till nine. Okay. Um, it's kind of our night to test everything out. Let's make sure everything's working and, and we're set up and, and going. Uh, so it's it's not a real long night uh, since it is also a week night. You know, mm -hmm. people are going to get up, go to work, or I was going to say school, but school will be out by then. Yeah. Uh, so. You know, we just get everything moving along a little bit there. Uh, the games and booths will be all set up for people to come and enjoy. You'll have your night, um, yeah. which uh, I understand you're going to try a little something different this we year. We are. As well. So, Jeff Ravella, who's the host of Stuff I Never Knew, he's going to be here. It's our trivia show. He's <laughs> okay. actually going to be here, and we're going to try and do some stuff with some of the uh, folks here. They, they might end up on TV. Nice. Answering nice. some trivia. There you go. Yeah, working the crowd. So, we'll, be, we'll be glad to be here that night. Yeah, good. Have some activity here. Anyway, well, you know, we'll have. Um, our, also have uh, the uh, Crawford axe throwing will be here and they're here all three nights okay but that's you know something that uh, people will be able to get up, come up and get they'll have a trailer set up and they'll be able to come up and take it take a chance at seeing how that works out for them uh, I'm not an axe thrower you know I'm, I'm not going to get into that routine but uh, you know, we'll see how it works out for everybody. Yeah, I've done that, and it's, mm -hmm. I'm actually pretty good. I was surprised. It, it kind of reminds me of bowling for some reason. Okay. Because you have a, kind of like have an approach, you know. But sure. Yeah, it comes, it'd be fun to try that out, though. Yeah. Yep, yeah. Yep. 
Um, other things on Thursday, so all your games a chance will be open, the kids' games. Right, all, all the games a chance, the food's all open. Uh, we'll have a, a DJ here to provide music that night. Uh, and like I said, that's that's the warm-up night, okay. you know, to get everybody excited about the weekend. Ice cream stand will be open. Oh, yeah, the ladies will have the ice cream scan, stand <laughs> going, I'm sure. And the, uh, we have a cake wheel, too, don't you? Yes, yeah, so our ladies' auxiliary operates a cake wheel, yeah. um, and all the cakes are donated uh, from the community. So if anybody would like to donate a cake, there you go. You can bring it up either before the, the Thursday night event or the Thursday night event. Bring it over the weekend, however you'd like. We greatly appreciate everybody who donates a cake to us uh, because it, it just is then one of those things that makes it that much easier for the ladies to keep that booth running all night long. Right. And it's busy there, too. Yes. Yeah, they do really well. Hey, a quarter a spin, you know, put it on a number and see how you make out. You can walk away with, a, a, you know, home baked goods for, exactly. for 25 cents. Bring your own gallon of milk, you'll be set. That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe you're going to win brownies there and go next door and get some ice cream. Yeah, you make sounds, your own little Sunday. Sounds like a good setup to me. Speaking of ladies' auxiliary, they really support the fire company. I, I know yeah. they, they pay for the fireworks, I believe. Yes. That's their yeah. donation. So that is correct. The ladies work hard, too. They do. Uh, and they're a small organization. Mm -hmm. Um but they are they are powerful. Yeah. Uh, so they'll run two booths there, uh, the ice cream and the um, and then the cake wheel. Yeah. But uh, yeah, small but but powerful. They they have for a number of years been our primary sponsor um, of the fireworks, which is a huge fireworks display. And that's uh, Saturday night. That'll be Saturday night at ten o'clock. Yeah, and mm -hmm. it's a big display. It, it is one a of big the display. biggest in the area. If I yes. understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah, One so. of the biggest that we've had. It is best to come here. You can see if one of the places. It's best to be here, though. Usually it is best to be here, yes. Yeah. Um, they are putting on larger shells this year. Okay. Because when we started all those years ago, the trees in the back lot were not as tall as they are now. Uh -huh. So the trees have grown, so now the size of the shell is going to grow. So they can get a little more height and yeah. get a little more uh, percussion out of them. There so you go. <laughs> that sounds, it, it, it'll sound really good. I'm, I'm sure. sure. Yeah. I'm sure yeah. Be shaking things around up here on the hill. So let's talk about Friday. What's going to happen Friday night? So Friday night, that um, again, all the booths are open up. There's a Chinese auction. Uh, I think they're up to around 12 or 13 booths with games in it. Uh, most of them are, are, are for the kids. You uh -huh. know. Uh, and we will also have a, um, a DJ who's going to be early on in the evening. Okay. But then we have entertainment that night, uh, if, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Brothers Kelly. Okay. Uh, will be our entertainment, and they start at seven. Okay. Uh, but the big draw for that night is, if, as long as the weather holds, we'll have our annual car show, and that is a huge event on it Friday is. night. Some nice uh, vehicles. Too. Yeah. Oh, beautiful. All beautiful. kinds too. Yes, it doesn't. It, they run from one end of the spectrum yeah, to the our other. Our booth is usually here, and we mm -hmm. watch a lot of them kind of rolling sure. in, so sure. they look really good. And that's uh, sponsored again this year by Crivelli Chevrolet Buick Incorporated. Okay. Uh, so they'll take care of everything for that. Um, they usually set up in our back lot. Uh, and they get as long as the weather's good, they get here early. Yeah. They get the cars all opened up and, and you know buff them up a little bit, and they they're happy to sit there and show off their vehicles and talk, talk about, about their vehicles. Oh, <laughs> they're gonna let everybody know about them, and uh, and it's 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 a lot of fun for people who, and the car enthusiasts that come out to really enjoy those. And you give out dash plaques too, I think. Yeah, I think it's the first fifty. Okay. Get a, a dash plaque. Okay. Don't hold me to that if you yeah, number fifty one. But yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, you know the, the 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 first grouping will get will get a dash plaque. Yeah. So that's Friday, and Saturday nights are big night. The last night, but the big night. Right. Saturday nights and the, the big night. Uh, again, everything's opened up. You know, the old-fashioned sodas and floats will still be here. The Chinese auction's here. Uh, we're still going to have the Crawford Axe throwing going on. Uh, but that night, we will have, again, returning for us will be Tim Litvin as our entertainment. Yeah, he's been uh, very popular. Here. Very popular. Um, and uh, as a matter of fact, Tim came to us, you know, he, he plays until, from 7 until 10. Okay. He came to us at about 10.05 last year and says, I'm going to hold next year's date if you want me. Yeah. And we said, we want you. Yeah. Uh, because he's got a, he's got a, a great set. He's got uh, a good following. He, he brings in some people, you know, the crowds with him. And, and he's, he's just a, a great entertainer. So yeah. we, uh, we said, sure, we'd love to have you back again. And he'll be here 7 to 10 Saturday night. And then uh, 10 o'clock, that shell's going up in the air. And, and uh, we look It's going up higher this year. It's going a little bit higher yeah. this year. Uh, we're looking for a 15 to 20 minute show usually. Yeah, great. You know? Come here, get some food, enjoy sure. the fireworks. Sure. Yeah. Is, is there activity after the fireworks, or does that kind of wrap the night up? That pretty much wraps up the night. Mm -hmm. um, the activity afterwards is, uh, you know, cleaning, cleaning up. up. <laughs> get, get get things out of, getting things out of the way and, and put away. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, it, it takes us the week to get it set up and get yeah. it moving. Uh, 
but except for the tents, we're pretty much packaged up and put away that night. Yeah, you're hoping uh, to help. Yeah, because, <laughs> you know, um, we have to go back, get back to the normal operations and, yeah. and, and keep the place rolling. Now, now, you raise money all year round. It's never ending because you yeah. need a lot of funds. But this sure. is your big event of the year. Right. This is our big event. Um, we, we have three, I will say. Uh -huh. Okay. This, our fish fry, which we do all through Lent. Right. And then we, we uh, work together on a gun bash with several other companies in, throughout the county. Okay. But this is one of the biggest that we handle on our own. Right. Um, and the funds that come from this are, are important to us because, you know, as the science says, we are a volunteer fire department. Yeah. So, uh, you know, anything that we need to do has to be has to have that money raised somehow. Right. Well, just maintaining what you have sure. is a lot. And then you said you taught, you bought some new equipment this year? Yes, yes. The, and just to back up to what maintaining what we have, we're, yeah. you know, out of our station, we run two Class A pumpers. We're running an air truck, or air truck slash rescue, uh -huh. uh, a tanker that's only a couple years old, brush truck, and a squad. So yeah. there's all that apparatus that it doesn't turn a wheel without a dollar being attached to yeah. it, you know, and that's that's just the reality of how it, it works. It is, and they get more expensive as they go along. Oh, on. they certainly do. They and they need to do. run when you need them. That's right. <laughs> so, that's right. <laughs> they need to go out the door when they're needed. It's not uh, a good thing to go to leave and say, oh, it's not going to start yeah, tonight. Yeah, But as far as equipment, uh, you mentioned some new equipment. We recently um, made a purchase uh, to expand on our rescue tools. Okay. Um, we do work with uh, Hearst Jaws of Life, and we have uh, an en our engine and our rescue are, are outfitted with um, pretty much everything you would need in that area for the rescue. Uh, now what we're adding are the battery-operated version of those tools. Okay. They're not replacing what we currently have. They will coexist with what we currently have, but the advantage to these are that they're lighter, they're a little bit easier for one person to operate, uh -huh. and uh, if there's somebody in a vehicle wreck down over a hillside, it's much easier to deploy this down over the hillside with a man right. than to get a, uh, a hydraulic pump set up, the hoses set up, and, and get down there. And, it, and when you're talking about rescue, you're talking about, you know, minutes. Yeah, time being is important. very important. Right. Yeah. So the faster we can get down to somebody and, and help them out, and you know, the better off things are going to be for them and for the outcome. Mm -hmm. um, and by supplementing what we currently have, it also allows us to handle, um, should it be a multiple vehicle, it makes us, uh, makes us able to handle it much easier. Right, because you um, have multiple because, tools. Right, exactly, yeah. exactly. Yeah, that's great. Well, I appreciate the work that you do and the fire company does and thank all your you. volunteers. And thank you for keeping yeah. the community safe. It, it is a multi-man uh, operation. Yeah. Uh, you know, there's, there's not just one person that, that can do everything or do what's needed here. So there are a lot of guys who, who do things, you know, in front where everybody sees them right. and behind the scenes where nobody sees what's going on. Yeah. Uh, and I see the work, you know, just for me and around mm -hmm, here. And, mm -hmm. and there's some families that have done this for years. Yes. And it's kind of part of the family. Yeah. And, and they're, yeah. they're crucial to making that go. And we have folks that come in and just like to help, too. But I can tell that it's a dedicated crew. Oh, it is. It most yeah. certainly is. Um, you know, I, I'll just throw one out there real quickly. We, we just accepted a junior firefighter, uh -huh. which means that he's 16 years old and he starts at the age of 16. And he's part of the Stout family. Okay. Okay. So we have grandpa, and we have his dad, and then we have our junior, who is yeah, who's a, great. a step. So three generations so you've got there. three generations there. Uh, so it's nice to have all of them, you know, coming around and doing doing what they want yeah. can do to help us out. So if someone wants to become a member, do you have to live in the township? What, what's the requirement? No. For see, I, okay. I actually live on the south side of the city. Okay. So and they let you over. They yeah, let you they let me over. come across. You know, <laughs> uh, it's a two minute ride. It's a two mile ride from from home. Uh, you can live outside of the Connellsville Township area. Okay. Um, you, it's just how you classify whether yeah. you, you know what you're, if you're a regular member or an associate member. Yeah. Just apply. Yeah. You know, we will we'll be happy to work with, with uh, everybody. Facebook, uh, website, can they apply through that? Yeah, there's on the website, there'll, there'll be instructions on how to download the application. There's a couple of little background checks that have to be done. Okay. Um, that gets all taken care of, and, and we vote on you, and, and we bring you in. And, okay. The and website address? Trained. Web address? We'll get that. We'll you put that, that. On, we'll put that on the screen. It, it, That'll be available. Yeah, it's uh, Station 7 CTVFD, maybe. Okay. We'll, we'll get that. Dave's good at that. He's good at researching. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so if you don't mind, talk mm -hmm. about uh, the dates again, just so people know okay. when this is all sure. happening. Thursday, Friday, Saturday, June 6, 7, and 8. Excellent. Yeah. Be here starts about here. In, in the evening. Yeah. So, yeah. So Thursday night's about six. 
Friday, yep. Saturday, probably a little earlier. Yeah, five, six o'clock. You know, come okay. on up and, and enjoy the time with us. Get come have food. your dinner. Yeah, come have your dinner, play the games, and you know, Saturday night be up here to enjoy those fireworks. That sounds good. Well, Joe, thanks for your time. Thanks for your work here. Thanks. Wish you well with the festival. No, I appreciate it. Thanks for the support of Armstrong and and every year you guys coming up here and uh, you know helping promote us by the by doing the, the publication here on the television. You're very welcome. Glad to help. All right. And now you're in the know.